Hey there, my name is Austin and welcome back to Retro Rampage. Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing a Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. Our current party is none other than Skipper, the lover level the, the, da, 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 da. the level 12 Mudkip, Ring the level 6 Wingle, Datol the level 4 Lotad, and Stringy the level 5 Wurmple. And we need to make our way to a Poke Center, right? We're in the Petalburg Woods. We're in the woods. We're in the woods, y'all. Gots to be careful while we're in the woods. Uh, let's see. We already went to the bottom right, yeah? Let's double check. I believe we went to the bottom right, because that leads out through the bottom. Yes. A bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum bum. It's always exciting that there's a chance for there to be a shiny, even though it never happens. I think I've seen literally one shiny organically in my entire life playing Pokemon games. And granted, I'm not somebody that's played a lot of Pokemon games, especially non-casually. Like, I've seen an Alolan Doug Trio in Pokemon Ultra Moon, I believe. And I accidentally killed it. That's how unused I am to seeing shiny Pokemon. But either way, let's get back to where we were, which was right about her. And we've already got our Petalburg Woods encounter. So we're done with that. Yo there, your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you should stay out of tall grease. Stay out of tall grease, buddy. Austin found one Pokeball. Yeah, that'll actually come in handy. Not bad, not bad. Da -da 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 -da. That always reminds me of the uh, ESPN thing. Ba -na -na, ba -na -na. If you take Bug Pokemon to school, you'll get to be instantly popular. Yeah, okay. Dude. Sure. I'm sure I will be instantly popular. Yeah. Uh huh. Sure, Bug Catcher James. A Nincada, eh? So Nincada is ground bug, I believe, which means water gun should work out here. I do believe. It's super effective, yeah. I think Nincada is ground bug, which is very weird because it's just a spider. Nincada, ground bug. Um, let's give Ring some XP because we could really use a flying move, I feel like. I feel like a flying move would be fantastic to get. And I feel like Wingle will learn, like, Peck at some point, but only has water... Oh, has Water Gun, duh. Yeah, actually, that works out, too. Gotta be very careful who we choose, though. Ground Bug. Scratch is fine. We'll use Water Gun again here. It's super effective. Down goes Nincata, 82 XP. They can't be popular if I lose. Ah, sure you can. You have a big bug Pokemon, people respect you for it. Yeah, kid, I don't... Have you had real-life instances of that happening? I feel like the answer is no. Trainer tips. In addition to hit points, HP, Pokemon have power points, PP, that are used to make moves during battle. If a Pokemon runs out of PP, it must be taken to a Pokemon Center. This tree looks like it can be cut down. However, we do not have cut. Okay, we've got Route 104... Which we've actually already been to, and whatever Pokemon that is, is dead. Yeah. So we've actually already been to Route 104, so that's not happening. I like filling my mouth with seeds, then spitting them out fast. You can have this, so you try it out. Use it on a Pokemon, and it will learn to move for firing seeds rapidly. Obtained the TM09. Austin put away the TM09 in the TM and HM's pocket. Word of advice, a TM technical machine is good only for one-time use. Once you use it, it's gone. Think twice before using it. We got two cherry berries. So I think he gave me bullet seed there, by the way. And then we have two orin berries as well. Thank you very much. I shall take it. Pretty petal flower shop. Pretty petal flower shop. All right, so this encounter does not matter because we killed whatever Pokemon was here. Ooh, Meryl. Interesting. Uh... Meryl in this generation is not fairy type, because there is no such thing. Just yet, anyways. Austin found one Pokeball. Yeah, make sure to always, like, look 
in the uh, little spots here, like right here. A one, two, three, four, five. It's another Meryl, let's kill it with our Barrel Blaster. I don't know what that means, but it sounds real cool, and we're gonna go faster. Uh, so yeah, Meryl, I believe, is just water, or it might be water normal. Yeah, it might actually be water normal, now that I think about it. Do a critical hit, which will level us up to level 13. Do, 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 do. Okay, max HP, attack, defense, special attack. Special attack goes up there. Interesting. Alright, let's see if there's something here or here. Austin found one super podium. Beautiful. And we'll see if there's something here. A boom, 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 boom. It's another wingle. It's a little baby wingle. Sorry, little wingle. I have no need for you. Thank you, though. Okay, let's go back over this way and enter the petal shop. Hello. Hello! This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers all over the world. Your name is? Austin. That's a nice name. Austin, would you like to learn about berries? Berries grow on trees that thrive only in soft, loamy soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy soil again. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant, flower beautifully, then grow berries again. I want to see the whole wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Austin. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. Okay. I assumed you would have given me a berry. Hello! The more attraction you give to flowers attention, the more beautifully they bloom. You'll like tending to flowers, I'm sure of it. You can have this. Obtain the Whalmer Pail. While berry plants are growing, water them with the Whalmer Pail. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground, but they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. No. I'm trying to be like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers, too. Here you go. It's for you. Obtained the Aspear Berry. You can plant a berry and grow it bigger. You can make a Pokemon hold it, but now they have a machine that mixes up different berries and makes candies for Pokemon. I want some candy, too. Don't we all? Don't we all, young lass? Don't we all? Trainer tips. In the Hoenn region, there are pairs of trainers who challenge others for two-on-two -two Pokemon battles called double battles. In a double battle, the trainer must send out two Pokemon, the one at the left of the list and the top one. Watch how Pokemon are lined up. What's up, dude? Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. Okay. Who asked? Who asked is the question that I have on my mind, rich boy Winston. You have a lot of money. You have a level 7 Zigzagoon, huh? It's the best you can come up with. All right. Water gun. Jackal. Jackal. ba ba da 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 why couldn't I win? Probably because you're a little jerk. There are some things money can't buy. That's Pokemon. That's Pokemon for you. Should I or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. Let's go. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead and throw it at my head now. Last Haley has a low dad. She's gonna send it out and make her dad proud now. Faux low dad used growl. That's absolutely fine. That's not fine. Another growl. Attack fell. So we probably want to use water gun here. The tackle might not kill it. Tackle kills it just fine. Do 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 do. A shroomish, eh? Um, gotta be careful here. We got water, water, water. Shroomish is grass. Man, we really need. Yeah, actually, shroomish is really scary. We cannot. Oh, this is. We're actually in a really bad position here. Um. Okay, ground is weak, water is weak, so we tackle? Oh, that's not... Okay, if it tackles, that's... F I'm actually really worried here. I'm gonna water gun. It's not effective, but it's probably gonna do more than... Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about is absorb. Okay, that's not that much damage at all. I was really worried that this thing would deal a ton of damage with absorb since all we have is water Pokemon. 
Okay, it does absorb again. As long as it doesn't crit, we should be okay. Kinda still worried here. We should be able to kill with Water Gun, however. Yeah, that was a little worse. Yeah, Shroomish early is very scary, since there's so many water Pokemon in this game. That shouldn't have battled. I mean, don't have that attitude. If you're faced with a decision you let someone else choose for you, you will regret it however things turn out. Interesting. Wise words. Uh, let's use... a Podeon on Skipper. Yeah, every time you see, like, a grass Pokemon early in this game, it's kind of terrifying. Tree looks like it can be cut down. Alright, so here we have to be very careful. Basically... This is gonna be a double battle, which means it's gonna use our top two Pokemon. So we do want Wingle out here. Yeah, we're gonna have to be super careful here. Double battles are terrifying. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Yep. I mean, I'm just one guy, so... Kind of sucks that it's gonna be a two-on-one, but I digress. Okay. Alright. Little worried here. Because they've got two grass types. Uh, we have to be extremely careful here. Uh, we're gonna use Water Gun. Guess we'll use Tackle on C Dot. And we'll double up with Water Gun on C Dot. We have to get the C Dot killed ASAP. Okay. Should have used it on Lotad. Bide is perfectly fine. Astonish is perfectly fine. Okay, we're gonna use... Uh, should we use Growl? I imagine Lotad doesn't have any attack moves. Okay, down goes the Grass type, which is good. Ring levels up to 7. If he learns Peck, that would be great. Super Sonic, interesting. Ring used Water Gun. Oh, it has Water Dish, doesn't it? I forget how Water Dish affects something. Heals from water attacks or something like that? Okay, we should be okay here, though. Let's tackle again. Let's use Supersonic. Supersonic will confuse foes, which means they have a chance to attack themselves, which is nice. Critical hit on the tackle. Excellent. Okay, Skipper levels up to level 14. Ring gets some experience as well. We battled together, but we both lost. Yes, you did. We will train our Pokémon more and be strong like you. You are strong, we have to train lots more. Alright. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokémon expert, huh? You don't know me. I do not know you, sir. I'm betting you have a lot of Magikarp, though, as typical of fishermen. Oh boy, it's a Magikarp. Wow, who could have seen that one coming? Go, skip, or tackle the crap out of this thing. Splash. So, Magikarp would be kind of nice to grind XP towards. Um, but we really don't have... They don't really give you that much experience. And we don't really have any, like, moves that'll make it kind of quick. On, uh, for instance, Ring. Because Ring only has Water Gun, which would take forever to kill these Magikarp. So, I guess we'll just stick with Skipper here. Another Magikarp, eh? Big surprise. Big surprise. Level 7 Magikarp. Man, we're getting a lot of tackle misses, huh? Kind of getting a lot of tackle misses, as far as I can keep track of. Do -do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. I thought it wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Blah. Yeah, you were kind of bad. Got too into fishing. I forgot I had to raise my Pokemon. Found two cherry berries. Now, you can replant the berries, but honestly, is like that even important? It's only It only matters if you're going to come back this way, I guess, right? If you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them, but make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Obtain the Chesto Berry. The way you look, you must be a trader. No traders often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow berries or use them. Alright, we'll plant some berries, sure. Plant a cherry berry. 
We'll also water it with the Whalmer Pail. The plant seems to be delighted. We will also plant a Pekka Berry. And we shall water it with the Whalmer Pail. And we will... No. Plant a... Uh, Orin Berry. And water it with the Whalmer Pail. I don't think this matters at all. But I kind of do feel bad not doing it. Because the NPCs give you crap for it. So, I don't know. We'll figure that out. Route 104 to Rustboro City. Okay, we have made it. Let's start over here where there's probably going to be a secret item. I'm going to write down Rustboro City. Rustboro City. We found one X Defend. So yeah, I guess I should talk about the items clause. So we're doing like very simple Nuzlocke rules just because I've never beaten a Nuzlocke and I feel like I should honestly beat one first before I start imposing really difficult rules. So um, that basically means that, yeah, we can use items whenever pretty much, which I originally thought was like, oh, that's probably too easy, but honestly, no. Nuzlocke's are so freaking difficult. Devon Corporation's workers live in this building. Okay, we got a skitty. Yeah. Uh, I like checking out everything in every new town, so bear with me as we do that if you're here for more of the Nuzlocke experience. Hello. 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 Stop moving. My daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. Obtain the Premier Ball. My daddy's working at the corporation. When I grow up, I'm going to work for Devon 2. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. That's how they start. That's how they get you. I tell you what, they start small and they get so big. My God. My God, they get so big. Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. I think the president's son also collects rare stones. Don't like that you can't run indoors. I want this to be faster. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, so the way that I explore cities and towns and games is like I start from the left and then I go to the right, basically, and repeat. Rustboro City, the city probing the integration of nature and science. If the Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change in the way it looks. If Pokemon changes shape, if one did that, I would be shocked. Yep, it's true. It's true, it's true, it's really true. For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. My expression of uh, originality, yes, that's it. But giving the name Pikachu to a Pikachu, it seems pointless. I suppose it's good to use a name that's easy to understand, but... Pikachu says Pekka. This guy has no originality. Whatsoever. Wow, you have a Pokemon with you too. When I get bigger, I'm going to go places with Pokemon too. The old sailor, Mr. Briny, lives in a cottage by the sea. He goes for walks in the tunnel every so often. My Pokemon evolved. It has a lot of HP now. I should buy super potions for it instead of buying ordinary potions. I'm getting an escape rope just in case I get lost in a cave. I just need to use it to get back to the entrance. I'm buying some paralyzed heals and antidotes just in case I run into Shroomish in Petalburg Woods. Okay, let's see what this guy has. Uh, antidote. We have five paralyzed heals. Let's buy five of these, or four. Escape rope, we'll buy one. Uh, repel, and then the stuff we don't really need. I will buy, however, Pokeballs. Let's buy six of these. And then potions, we'll buy three. And we can also sell if we want to, but that's fine. I've never really bought anything in Pokemon until Nuzlocke's, because I just always, you know, try to get everything in the game, pretty much. Okay, what do we have here? That determined expression, that liberal way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be monster shy. Go on, take it. Obtained HM1. That hidden machine, or HM for short, is cut. An HM move is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can chop down thin trees if the trainer has earned the stone badge. And like a TM, an HM can be used more than once. When they were expanding the city of Rustboro, my dad helped out. He made his Pokemon use Cut to clear the land of trees. 
Forgot that you get HM1 here. What the heck? Just some random house. Cutter's house. Yep. Sounds right. The man next door gave me an HM. I used to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. My Pokemon has a naive nature and my friends has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. All right, let's get our Pokemon healed. Do, do, do. Just like people, there are male and female Pokemon, but no one seems to have any idea how they're different. Uh, there's some, I, I guess not in this generation, but there's some physical changes, like Pikachu's tail is a heart, if it's a female, at least later on in other generations, I guess. Pokemon Trainer School. If I go to this school, I'll be able to catch a rare Pokemon easily? Did you know this? You can have two-on-two -two battle even if you're not with another trader. If you catch the eyes of two trainers when you have two more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Which would be, it'd be cool if you could beat two trainers by yourself. Uh, been there, done that, buddy. Pokemon Trainers School will teach you anything about Pokemon. Let's head in here. Okay, what do we got? Hello, didn't we meet before? I think back in Battleburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So what brings you to the school? Are you a trainer too? First thing you should do is have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has Cut. Pokemon can hold items, but they don't know what to do with man-made items like Potion and Antidote. Yeah, Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. There are many kinds of items that Pokemon can hold. Boy, it sure is hard taking notes down. It's the student's notebook. Pokemon are to be caught using Pokeballs. Up to six Pokemon can accompany a trainer. A trainer is someone who catches Pokemon, raises them, and battles with them. A trainer's mission is to defeat the strong trainers who await challengers in Pokemon gyms. Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you are a good student will be evident from the way you use this item. Obtained the quick claw. Okay. Pokemon holding the quick claw will occasionally speed up and get to move before its opponent. There are many other items that are meant to be held by Pokemon. Just those alone will give you many topics to study. So yeah, there are held items. So we're actually going to give Ring the quick claw. I believe because it's better than giving... Sk Skipper's going to outspeed most people. Most Pokemon. So I think we give Ring the quick claw there. Blackboard lists status changes that may affect Pokemon in battle. Which do you want to read? If a Pokemon is poisoned, it will steadily lose HP. The effects of poison remain after battle. Poison Pokemon's HP will drop while it's traveling. Heal poison using an antidote. A burn reduces attack power and it steadily reduces the victim's HP. A burn lingers after battle. Cure a burn using a burn heal. If a Pokemon becomes paralyzed, its speed drops. It may also not be able to move while it's in battle. Paralysis remains after battle. Cure it using a paralyzed heal. Pokemon is frozen, it becomes completely helpless, it will remain frozen after battle, thought out using an ice heal. If Pokemon falls asleep, it will be unable to attack. Pokemon may wake up on its own, but if the battle ends while it is sleeping, it will stay asleep. Wake it up using an awakening. Okay. I'm trading Pokemon with my friend right now. We take this seat here. You know how some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon? A confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to, but once it leaves the battle, it will return to normal. I always wanted to see that, and I'm finally getting one. Nice, man. I'm happy for ya. I challenged the gym leader, but it's not gonna be easy winning with my Fire-type Pokémon. Fire-type Pokémon don't match up well against Rock-type Pokémon. Well, luckily for us, Water Pokémon match up well against Rock-type Pokémon. Now, who might you be? You're a new face around these parts. Have you just transferred into the Pokémon Trainer's school? Okay, what is here? Every Pokémon has a special ability that it can use. Pokemon are such strange creatures. They really are, though. They really are. Very practical. Da, da, da. Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard, you need to ask? It's trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. It really isn't, isn't easy coming up with meals every day. Oh, hello, welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is all new to me, and I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh at me if I told her something funny. Do you have a funny word or phrase you can tell me? Oh, that's wonderful. So let's hear your suggestion. Uh, yep, it's called Bidiff. <laughs> Bidiff. So funny. I right, see. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Bidiff. Bidiff. She's not smiling at all. Maybe Walt is one serious child. It's Pokemon Plush Doll. It's Pokemon Plush Doll. It's Pokemon Plush Doll. It's Pokemon Plush Doll. I actually don't know what we're supposed to do with Walda here. 
Is there like some specific phrase we're supposed to say? It's Pokemon plush doll. Do 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 A Pokemon you get in a trade from someone grows fast, but if you don't have certain gym badges, it may not obey you. Okay. Devon Corporation, for all your living needs, we make it all. Rustboro Poke City Pokemon Gym Leader Roxanne, the rock-loving honor student. Have you taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge? When you get that shiny gym badge in hand, I guess traders begin to realize what is required of them. I have not. It's scary, but we should be okay. Can I buy Pokemon is cute? Sure, I know that, but if you really want, I'm willing to trade it to you. I'll trade you my C-Dot for a Ralts if you want. Oh, if you don't want to, that's okay, but my Pokemon is cute, you know. Ain't got a Ralts, dude. In all sorts of places, there are so all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating, so I go to all sorts of places. Fair. All right, let's take on the gym. Here we go. This is the first big boss battle. Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I could sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type is very durable, but it can't stand Water-type and Grass-type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Okay, let's do it. Hello there. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Well, if you all use one type of Pokemon, I mean, you're pretty predictable, let me be real. Youngster Josh. What do you got, Youngster Josh? Let's use Water Gun. Easy peasy. You were too good for me. Yep, don't you forget it, buddy boy. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. All right, relax, dude. What the hell? What are you rampaging for? So you can actually um, fight these guys one on one, I believe. But I figured we could probably handle a two on two fight here. Hopefully, let's use Water Gun on the left. Let's use Water Gun on the left. The left one's probably going to die regardless, so then it will defer to the right one. But I wanted to finish it off if that wasn't going to be the case. Okay. Hiker Mark sends out another Geodude. Ring uses Water Gun on the leftmost one. Insta-killing it. Wow. Surprising Ring can do that much. Holy moly. Skipper grows to level 15. Trying to learn Bide. Uh, I'm not even going to learn Bide. Bide is absolute trash, if I understand correctly. Okay, Geodude uses Defense Curl, which is perfectly fine, because that's only physical defense, I believe. So we will Water Gun it as well. And then I believe they've got one more Pokemon to take down here. Do, 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 do. I'm betting it's a Geodude. And it is, in fact, a Geodude. Should be able to kill unless it has different stats, or unless Water Gun has a range, right? Skipper gets 73, Ring gets 73. They're both defeated. Wow, you've got some potential. Oh, man, oh, man, our challenger's a feisty customer. Yep, and don't you forget it. All right, here we go. I'm not even going to use the Poke Center because we should be fine. Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? That I will do, Roxanne. Let's go. Leader Roxanne would like to battle. She sends out a Geodude, level 12. We send out Skipper, level 15. We use Water Gun because water is super effective against rock. Which means Geodude takes twice as much damage. Which is not bad at all. Another Geodude is coming out. This Geodude is level 12 as well. We use another Water Gun. And down goes the Geodude. We get 220 experience. Now, do we want to be a little cocky? 
I'm gonna be a little cocky. I'm gonna switch to ring here. Do, 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 do. To give ring some experience. Can ring take down this nose pass? Level 15, absolutely not. Go okay, switch back to skipper. We'll give ring a lot of XP here. Okay, nose pass uses rock tomb which deals a little bit of damage and also reduces our speed. We're gonna use Water Gun here. Skipper can't escape? Couldn't escape anyways. What a dumb move to use. Okay, we use Water Gun. Nose Pass uses Tackle, which crits. Okay. And we crit right back, beautiful. Couldn't ask for better. Okay, we get 172 X speed. Ring gets 172 X speed, getting to level 9. And Roxanne is defeated, so I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. We get 1,500 Poke Dollars. What skipper is evolving? So, for anybody that doesn't know, in Pokemon, Pokemon evolve when they hit certain levels. Um, they get to be certain types of evolved monsters, basically. So, our skipper is now... A Marsh Stomp, which means its stats gets increased as well. Skipper's trying to learn Mudshot. Delete a move to make room for Mudshot. Sure, we will delete Growl. One, two, and poof! Skipper for at ground, Skipper learn Mudshot. Beautiful. Austin received the stone badge from Roxanne. Breedy! The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take with this with you, too. Obtain the TM39, which I believe is Rock Tomb. Technical Machine TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches that move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before you use it. Since you're so strong, you should challenge other gym leaders. By battling many trainers, you should learn many things. Alright, beautiful. Our first... gym battle is completed successfully. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheery must have worked. Great, check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should properly be recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. Uh, it does feel awesome. Feels quite nice. Get out, get out of the way. Wait, please, don't take my goods. Not his goods. Okay, let's go use the Pokemon Center before I forget. And we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more, please support the channel and the video. And we'll see you in the next one. Check out the Patreon as well. Link's in the description below. Bye-bye.